So, I'm in Hawaii, and I wanted to talk to you about what I've done so far. I've been scuba diving. I have... Don't mind how messy it is. I scuba dived, and I was... I actually held an octopus on my hand. It was so cool. And, um... While I'm scuba diving, I saw a lot of fish, um, a lot of creatures, but I never imagined scuba diving to be as hard as it is, but, you know, I guess it's okay. Um, I'm going to probably continue in Calgary, which I want to do and get certified in Calgary. And so I can scuba more in Calgary. And you can actually see all the pictures if you go into um, my mom, like the thing where she shows all her photos on the Facebook page. And you can actually see the two pictures of me holding them in my hand. And it was so cute. When the guy who who actually found it put it on the bench, it crawled all over his underwater camera and then started to go back down to the br down on the off the bench and onto the deck so that it could get off the boat. And I got in the way of it and stopped it from moving. And he's like, "Oh, look at that little guy trying to escape." It was really cool. We also went to the beach a couple of times. I boogie boarded, I surfed, snorkeled. It was so cool. And um, we rented a convertible, which is pretty nice. And But the thing I found best about Hawaii was that it's really warm. It's fun to see all the volcanoes and the animals. And but the thing I found weird is, a lot of the birds and animals here aren't native to Hawaii. Um, the only thing that was, hold on, what's that? The wind. Sit down, please. Sit down, please. Go ahead. It was just the wind. Um, I got this shark tooth. Tiger shark, maybe a. A raptor shark. Nobody really knows what they came from. I think it might be a dinosaur tooth. You can never be sure about the, the stuff like this these days. I'm pretty sure the necklace will break soon because they got it from like a cheap shop down there. I also got a ring. Um, I got a silver ring with a green turtle on it. It's really cool. Mama, huh? where is it? I don't think it's good. I'll get it. Okay. Um, I also got these really cool flip flops to wear. And since I originally came here with, oh, thank you. I originally came here with sneaker and sandals. That wasn't very good. And well, they're good, but nobody here really wears them, and you just need flip flop to be able to flip on and off in like second. This is the ring I was talking about earlier. Really cool. So, um, we went to the uncle's place. Well, near the uncle's place to go um, crabbing one a couple days ago. No, yesterday. And um, we had this big four, two to four dollars, I think. It was a big white net with three strings leading in the middle. We tied some twine to it, threw some raw chicken in there, because apparently crabs like that, but I never thought they liked that. I thought that you needed, like, fish or something. Or, like, I see them eating algae and stuff off the wall. I can't tell exactly what they're eating. 
I've caught a sand crab. I've caught one sand crab. We've caught my brother and I actually downstairs in this area. Um, downstairs like a restaurant. There are lizards and stuff. So I've caught like together we caught sixteen to twenty of them. I caught the majority of them. He caught like five. I caught the other fifteen, maybe. But um, yeah. I think one of them I've caught more than once. Cause one of them, his name is Tiki, and. We caught him, and now whenever we see him, he's got a black mark on his head. And whenever he sees us, then we're trying to catch him. He doesn't move. He just sits there and let us and let us catch him. He become the, any of the lizards we catch now are becoming strangely attuned to humans and us. So whenever we see a lizard, we're not sure if it's one we've caught before, because we've only marked two out of, like, maybe 160 of them out there. And we've caught the majority of them, you know? So a lot of the time, when we see the lizard and we catch them, they just know who we are. They immediately know who we are, and they don't scramble away like they did originally. The best thing I find about Hawaii is the locals are really nice and they're kind of funny sometimes. And, um, yeah. My scuba diver teacher's name was Jeannie. If you ever come to Hawaii, you should go to the dive shop on one 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 no one 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 sand island access road it's a really good dive shop and they take you out and you get to go scuba diving they fit you with equipment but um i recommend the best teacher there is probably genie if she's there, um, if you ever go to the Hawaii and you do the scuba diving thing, tell her I sent you. Andrew. Yeah. We do a lot of stuff in Hawaii. We go swimming kind of a lot. My hair has obviously gotten a lot longer. Um... The volcanoes are so cool. Um, the city's pretty nice. There are a lot of shops to go and a lot of stuff to do and see. Um, so yeah, my time in Hawaii was pretty good. Genuinely pretty good. And if you ever come to Hawaii, stay in the Ilakai Hotel. It's the best place. Bye.